Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So uh, in this video, we will continue with uh, money supply. So uh, in our previous video, we generally talk about uh, a basic introduction to money. What is money and what is the legal definition of money and uh, the different type of money. Okay. So here we will understand what is uh, money supply uh, in any economy and um, we will uh, discuss these uh, four money types like uh, what is money uh, one or M1, M2, M3 and M4. Okay. So uh, I hope you watched the previous uh, video. If not, please uh, watch that particular one. So which will generally give you uh, a clarity about the money concept. Okay. So um, and the one request, please um, do like uh, the video and do share with your friends. And if you are new to my channel, please uh, do subscribe. Okay. So we already did this particular video. Hope you watch. Now, uh, guys, uh, so we will start with uh, money supply. So you know what is uh, money. Now we'll talk about money supply. So total amount of money in any economy that is um, uh, generally known as uh, money supply. Okay. And which is generally part of uh, legal tenders. Okay. So let's say uh, credit creation done by banks or bank notes, cash on hands or uh, the deposit with the uh, banks, post office. So these all are the part of the uh, uh, money uh, supply. Okay. So like we, you can say the total sum of money, which is um, used for the uh, like different, which is used in different, different areas used by individual organizations, banks and all. So that is generally part of your money uh, supply. Okay. So a total amount of money in any economy is uh, defined, defined as uh, the uh, money supply and it is generally part of uh, the legal tenders. So effective money consists um, mostly of uh, currency and uh, demand deposit. So demand deposit uh, would generally include the uh, CASA deposit, current account and saving accounts with banks. So with the help of these particular deposit bank, they also do uh, the credit creation. Okay. So uh, total amount of money in any economy is generally part of money supply. Now, like if you uh, study the different, different uh, methods, which are generally used uh, for the uh, money supply calculations. So we have, we do have uh, nowadays, we have this broader concept that is generally known as M1, M2, M3, M4, which is generally adopted by RBI in 1977. So prior to this, we use a narrower concept, which is like uh, money, uh, which is generally part of M1 only. Okay. So money one only. Okay. So measure of uh, uh, money supply. So we have four measure like M1, M2, M3 and M3 is uh, like that is the most appropriate method for the uh, calculation of money supply in Indian economy. Okay. So uh, till last uh, 1966, 67-68, uh, the RBI used to publish uh, only a single narrow, uh, a single narrow measure of uh, money supply, which is M1. So whenever you talk about the uh, M1, so that generally include uh, currency uh, with public, uh, demand deposit with banking system and uh, deposit with uh, RBI. So that is only part of your M1. So till uh, 19, uh, like do, before the 66, 67, 68, we use uh, or RBI use M1 concept for the money measurement. Okay. So uh, uh, now uh, like, but since 1977 on, onwards, we have four uh, alternative measures of um, cash supply or money supply. These are M1, M2, M3 and uh, M4. Okay. So uh, pro like if you talk about the uh, uh, 66, 68 uh, time duration. Okay. So that we do not have the uh, like that effective system to measure all the things in all. So that's why are we use this uh, like um, uh, the demand deposits or uh, the cash which we gen like being a public we hold. So that was the only things which we have. But now we have M1, M2, M3, M4 and uh, since 1977, so RBA represent this particular data. So now this part is very, very important one. Okay. So please uh, try to remember this particular thing. So many time examiner recently asked question based on M1, M2, M3, M4. Okay. So um, 
as I told you, till six, 1960 or uh, six, uh, 67, 68, we have this uh, one only for the calculation purpose, which include M1, which generally include currency uh, with public, uh, demand deposit uh, with banking system. So demand deposit are CASA deposit, current account and saving account deposit with banks and other deposit with RBI like SLR or the other CRR or the other deposit which is generally made by banks or other financial institutions with RBI. So that is generally part of M1. M2, the, now we have all M1, M2, M3, M4 measure. So M2 which generally include M, M1, this, all these things plus saving deposit with post office. Okay, so um, M1 is like M2 is a combination of all the factors of M1 plus we are including saving deposit with post office. Okay, M3 is M1 plus um, M1 plus um, term deposit with the, the uh, banking system. So demand plus term. So term deposit are RAFA deposit, recurring deposit and um, fixed deposit accounts which is generally known as uh, term deposit so these are generally part of this category okay so like if you if you check the most appropriate uh, money supply so we generally use this particular one okay and m4 if you talk about the m4 so it is m3 so which include m1 this m2 term deposit and all deposit with post office saving banks so excluding national savings certificate. So M4 is like we can say total supply of money in the Indian economy or in our economy. Okay. So uh, like uh, these are uh, the measure which is generally used by RBI to uh, check the overall money supply in the economy. And even RBI whenever he uh, whenever they uh, present the data about the money supply. So they use these all these four measures. Uh, and you will get data in uh, four different different categories or all these are four segments okay so m1 m2 m3 and m4 these are very important one please do remember these one so m1 which is currency with public plus demand deposit saving account current account deposit with banks and other deposit with banks okay m i uh, with rb sorry uh, m uh, if you talk about m2 so all these things plus saving deposit with post office M3 is M1 plus term deposit. So here this if you will plus term deposit. So it will become M3. Okay. And M4 is all deposit like it is M3 which is including M1 plus term deposit and all deposit with post office. So that is only part of your uh, M4 money. Okay. So this is this way we basically measure the overall money supply. So what is money supply? It is the overall amount of money in any economy. So in India, uh, since uh, 1977, RBI is using these four measures to calculate the money supply. So these are generally known as M1, M2, M3 and M4. So M1 is generally part of narrower money and M2, M3, M4 are generally part of broader money. So till 67, 68, we have only M1 concept. So um, as the uh, economy evolves, so we start adding M2, M3. M4. So since 1977, we have all these uh, four measures and whenever RBI represent or whenever RBI present the um, uh, money supply figures, so they generally use uh, all these uh, four measures. Okay. So I hope you get uh, the concept of money supply and the concept of M1, M2, M3, M4 uh, and what comes under these different different categories. Okay. So please try to remember these four categories because these are very important for examination purpose. Like if you, uh, uh, for your understanding purpose, the entire thing is very important. But for examination viewpoints, that M1, like what comes under M1 and what comes under M3 or M4. So that become very important. Okay. And I already did a video on uh, money and its type. I hope you already watched that particular one. If not, please go and watch. So here we discuss the uh, concept of money, the legal definition of money or legal tender and non-legal tenders and the different types like uh, my, uh, commodity money, fiat money, bank money, plastic money or wallet money and all. And even we, uh, we also discuss the uh, currency printing methods used by different different countries, uh, especially India, which we generally use India's uh, currency printing method, which is 
known as MRS, Minimum Reserve System. Okay, so do watch this particular one for more clarity. Okay, so guys, uh, I hope uh, you enjoy this uh, particular video. So if you like, please uh, do share with your friends and. Um, uh, if you are new to my channel, please uh, do subscribe the uh, channel. And if you have any recommendations, if you have any confusion about any concept, so do mention in comment section. And even I'll share the uh, Telegram channel link. So uh, you can join that particular one and you can send me your queries through uh, screenshot or pictures or audio messages or any, any query related to examination. Okay. So this is it from my side. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, stay tuned. Have a nice day. Thank you.